it's looking like it'll be a warmer day here today, but there's a chance of some rain later on. Absolutely, especially just south of the Denver area this morning. Actually, we've picked up a storm rolling through the eastern plains out near Burlington that's since moved off east of the border. Otherwise, we're starting off with dry conditions, mostly clear skies. Denver up north through Lyons, Greeley, Brighton. It's a beautiful start to our morning. You can see a live look further west into Glenwood Springs, just partly cloudy skies, the river rushing there, and we are going to be staying dry for the first half of the Sunday, but we are going to be then seeing some scattered storms and showers roll from the mountains across the plains. Outside right now in Denver, you can see sun is shining, a little more humidity in the air, so at 69%, we are going to be seeing slightly more instability later on, which will bring us that chance of storms. Upper 50s, low 60s from the airport to downtown Denver, winds relatively calm, currently sustained from the west-southwest. Your weather headlines, those widespread gusty storms will impact us through the late afternoon, mainly between about 3 and 7 o'clock. Some of the cells across the front range and plains could produce high damaging winds, brief heavy rain, and hail. Near 90 the next few days, so pretty warm temperatures, but quite seasonal for this time in early August. Outside right now, Boulder, you're at 64 degrees, low 60s down through Castle Rock and up into Conifer. Copper Mountain at a cool 40, same near Leadville, and then 50s from Aspen up through Steamboat Springs and Craig. Here's our severe weather outlook for this Sunday. South of Colorado Springs, Pueblo and Trinidad indicated here by the shade of yellow. We are going to be seeing a stronger, more marginal risk of severe storm activity. Denver, North, Fort Collins, Greeley, Boulder under the green shades do have the chance of seeing a few of those gusty storms develop, but they will be very few and far between. So if you're hiking, spending time in the mountains, driving back home, uh, the good chance of rain re mainly arrives after about lunchtime. 70s for both today and tomorrow with storm activity expected both afternoons. Here's our front range future cast. You can see up and down the I-25 corridor and east through about 2 o'clock will stay dry, but over Bailey, up through Longmont, and then moving east over the I-25 corridor, you can see it'll be very spotty in nature. 6.30 tonight near New Raymer and Fort Morgan, that storm activity will move through and then will clear out across the state for tonight into early tomorrow morning with temperatures gradually dropping to the 40s and 50s in the mountains and 60s over the plains. Daytime highs today in the mid and upper 80s, Highlands Ranch and downtown Denver, low 80s into Parker and Castle Rock and across northeastern Colorado near 100 degree heat in Grand Junction. Here's tomorrow. We'll start off mostly clear and dry. Clouds will increase into the late afternoon. Temperatures will be near 90 and then after about 3 o'clock, here comes a chance for storms again and then we'll clear out later on. So today, tomorrow, good possibility for storm activity in the afternoon and then mostly sunny and drier. Nicole will be back in the 90s through the end of the week.